लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वेलकम टू एस्ट्रोडिफाई टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट जैमिनी एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ जैमिनी ज्योतिष विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू टुडे एंड हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द जैमिनी कारक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो देन so today what we are going to see is a different branch of astrology so far we have seen uh, the parashar astrology uh, and every time whenever you see any video or any internet material or a- read any books they d- they only describe the areas of parashar jyotish but there are several branches of jyotish also one is jaimini jyotish and that we are going to see today see parashar jyotish deals with all the planets deals with all the uh, yogas it has its own set of dashas through which you can find uh, you can predict but jaimini jyotish is i will not say more or less the same it has several karaks and on the basis of these karaks this whole gemini jyotish functions there are seven karaks obviously they they will be signified by planets but the dashas in gemini jyotish they are not of not planetary dashas they are the dashas which are ruled by certain zodiac signs okay so that we are going to see today that gemini jyotish what it means and what it entails and in my experience gemini jyotish is far much easier than parashar astrology in able a, because it is easy to comprehend for a beginner and it is much more accurate you can get easy accuracy from gemini jyotish instead of parashar parashar requires a great deal of practice without practice you don't you cannot predict using parashar system and parashar system is great but you have to be very sound in your basics and basics are also not very less the basics uh, the foundation of parashar is very huge and gemini jyotish gives great deal of accuracy in predicting events timely and it has the basic foundation the basics you need to know before implementing they are also very less as compared to gemini jyotish because you don't have to deal with innumerable yogas which have which are forming in uh, your main birth chart or in divisional charts you just have to hover around the main karak planets okay these there are seven karaks and seven karaks they, they will only determine your various events in the dashas of particular zodiac signs so let's start with defining the various karaks see the planets will be same sun moon mars jupiter saturn venus and mercury these planets except rahu and ketu they can be the karaks there are seven karaks in gemini jyotish seven karaks in and they are classified according to their degrees degrees play a vital role in gemini jyotish and this is one advantage also because while analyzing the horoscope Uh, with just parashari system you need to know proper accurate time of birth and if you don't know you have to pinpoint by birth chart rectification and it takes a great, great deal of effort and time of the astrologer but gemini jyotish is such that even if the person is not knowing the time of birth and he knows a range i am not saying he does not know at all because that is not going to serve the purpose but he should know a range that what is the time when he was born 15 minutes 30 minutes approximately 
then we can define we can see the degrees and this is the beauty of Gemini astrology because here you need to only predict the events on the basis of the degrees of planets you don't have to go by their various yogas various strengths and what not so this is one i will say advantage of any astrologer if he is using gemini jyotish and the timing of events will always be same if you do it through gemini or if you do it through parashar it will always be same it is not going to differ ever so let's see that what are karaks and there are seven gemini karaks seven gemini karaks accordingly classified accordingly uh, in on the basis of their degrees from the highest to the lowest so the the there are seven karaks first is atma karak then amatya karak then bhratri karak then matri karak then putra karak then gnati karak and then uh, dara karak these are seven karaks okay now the i have told you in descending order of the degrees the planet with the highest degree is your atma karak okay planet with the highest degree is your atma karak planet with the second highest degree is amatya karak third highest degree planet is bhratri karak fourth highest is matri karak fifth highest putra karak sixth highest is gnati karak and the least planet with the least degrees is your dar karak okay now now you have known that in your horoscope there are several planets and they have particular degrees so on the basis of this classification you can easily determine that what is your atma karak what is your amatya karak bhratri karak putra karak and so on karaks will always be seven and note this point that rahu and ketu these two planets will never be any of the seven karaks whether they have highest degree they will never be atma karak whether they have least degree they will never be dar karak and whether they have any degree they will never be any of these seven karaks this is a rule and that you have to put in your mind okay so this is these are seven karaks and this is how you have to classify on the basis of your horoscope that what are various karaks of gemini in your according to your horoscope and these karaks differ from person to person because since they are based on degrees so one person can have sun as atma karak and other person can have moon as atma karak because sun in one's horoscope has having highest degree and in moon uh, in second horoscope moon is having highest degree so planets vary so these are seven karaks now what do they signify we have seen that these are seven karaks okay now what to do next the next is what does atma karak signify what does atma karak signify atma karak and what does what does other uh, karak signify that we have to see so atma karak is the most important karak in gemini jyotish and it signifies the person himself or herself it means that atma karak is you yourself you can just say that it is analogical to the areas ruled by the first house okay atma karak is a planet no matter what plan what that planet is in your horoscope it signifies your whole body structure your thinking process your mentality your ego you yourself your passion your health overall health and your overall mental structure that is seen through atma karak so this is your atma karak atma karak is your base so planet with the highest degrees that is atma karak in gemini jyotish is one of the most important planets uh, in gemini jyotish that is uh, that uh, signifies your foundational structure okay 
नेक्स्ट इज आमत्य कारक वॉट इज आमत्य कारक आमत्य कारक प्लानट इट नो मैटर वॉट इट इज आमत्य कारक सिग्निफाइज योर स्टेटस इन सोसाइटी योर डिग्निटी योर ऑनर योर रिस्पेक्ट योर नेम योर करियर योर प्रोफेशन फॉर प्रोफेशन ऑलवेज आमत्य कारक इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल आई विल टेल यू इन डिटेल आफ्टर वर्ड्स इन फ्यूचर वीडियोज बिकॉज आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो दैट यू कैन बी एबल टू एनालाइज योर चार्ट इन अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव मैनर you just don't have to rely on parashar system you have to also consider gemini equally and then you will be able to correlate and you will get a comprehensive approach so that is why you have to see gemini also now the third planet is bhratrikarak bhratrikarak is what it is analogical to the affairs dealing with the third house like it your siblings courage will power writing skills your communication that is bhratrikarak so all the things which, uh, which are analogical to the third house not all but most of them they are seen through bhratrikarak then matrikarak matri means in hindi it is mother but this planet does not signifies uh, does not signifies mother only it is it signifies both the parents okay it signifies your mother as well as your father so no matter what the planet is is your matrikarak it will always be uh, your uh, signifying your parents and the affairs dealing with fourth house analogical to the fourth house like your home your homeland your country your uh, uh, childhood your uh, nourishment which you have got in uh, by your family especially by your parents the health and nature of your parents not just the mother both mother and father so these are the things which are ruled by matrikarak then your putrakarak planet with the fifth highest degree it represents the areas analogical to the fifth house not all of them but most of them like putra means putra in hindi means actually son son but putra karak generally represents children okay overall it does not count only the son it counts the daughter also so it means it means that it is ruling the fifth house affairs means children your education your uh, creativity your skills your uh, people who are good in sports uh, entertainment field these are ruled by fifth house so and these are also signified by putra karak gnati karak the next sixth highest degree planet it represents the affairs dealing with the sixth house sixth house means your enemies diseases health uh, debts uh, then litigations Uh, subordinates divorce and all sorts of obstacles in life uh, these are uh, these are represented by sixth house and similarly it is represented by gnati karak but don't get uh, don't have fear in your minds that gnati karak is always bad after all it at the end it is a planet and he and you cannot say that it is bad because it's gnati karak it can be that it is very good in in strength uh, and position in your birth chart or in divisional charts so that uh, that changes okay so but in general gnati karak represents these things last planet is last karak is dar karak dar karak is dar karak means it represents your spouse your relationships your marriage uh, your uh, uh, marital life that is represented by dar karak and most of the time as we will progress you will find that i will take some examples also and uh, most of the people who marry they marry during the dasha or uh, during the sub period of dar karak most of the time i have seen and it never happens that dar karak is not involved in such 
uh, event of anyone's life. So these are seven karaks and what they represent that we have seen. Okay, and there are and this is other branch of astrology. It also has aspects. It also has yogas. It also has dashas, which is known as char dasha. We are going to analyze it in future video. Uh, so today it is in this lesson one we have seen that what Gemini Jyotish is actually how it is more advantageous than Parashari system. I am not saying that you should not go through Parashari system. Actually when you are learning Jyotish if you are a beginner you should start with Parashar always and then you move ahead towards Gemini. But Gemini Jyotish is far much easier and if and easy to comprehend uh, for a beginner uh, than Parashari system. So we are going to discuss about all the other things related to Gemini uh, Jyotish in next lessons. In this lesson one we have dealt with all the things of all the Karaks what they represent and what Gemini Jyotish is. So I think now that you might be knowing that what these things represent because when you open your chart in a software you find these planets representing DK, AMK, AK all these things in uh, inside a table and people don't know that what they are. They are the Karaks of Gemini. So that is what I am telling you what, what I have told you right now. Okay. So in the next video we are going to discuss about the aspects how aspects work in Gemini Jyotish and in further videos I am going to tell you about special Gemini Yogas, Gemini Raj Yogas and we are going to discuss how Chardasha is analyzed how you have to uh, how you can easily time the events of any person through applying Gemini Jyotish. So if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my Twitter and Facebook page otherwise we will meet in the next lesson of Gemini dealing with aspects in Gemini Jyotish. So till then goodbye and thank you.